and hello welcome back today i want to talk about the recovery phase we're going to talk about rehab and in the series of going back to basics so i am of the thought that i had kind of like a stroke or actually i did literally got a lot of mini strokes um the neuro psychologist thought that at some point I did but I see CFS like you have a stroke or something very um, big that you have to rehab to get out of that's just my personal opinion my sister had a valve replacement and she was into cardiac insufficiency or um, heart failure and she had to learn and she had to rehab her her body she could barely walk from here to there she would get tired and I think the same happens in CFS. So I have gone through tons of different attempts at exercising. And I call it exercise, but it's really rehab, okay? So I have had different uh, attempts at rehab. I started the year very pumped up. Exercise is my very uh, weak point because I have excessive exercise intolerance due to the POTS and I also have the worst PEM due to CFS but because of I have POTS I cannot be totally inactive because then the POTS get worse so I have to balance the CFS in the POTS in a logical way and it has been a challenge so when I started the the year what I realized I, I want to share my failures with you what went right what went wrong because I feel that it can kind of illuminate things that can work the right way and why they don't work the right way. The first thing for me is having systems, right? So I feel that when you have a goal and you make it into your day-to-day, -day, it's easier to achieve. If you say, I'm going to rehab or exercise, it's not gonna happen unless it's part of your day-to-day -day routine and make it into a routine and that you, make yourself a commitment put time aside for it so um i feel the best when i first wake up and uh, the stretching has been working perfectly so i started the year very pumped up i was feeling amazing and i did a very excessive program even though i think it's little when i look at real people normal people uh, you know normal people that don't have cfs and somebody says, oh, I do planks of 10 seconds, then 20 seconds. That tells me that starting with 10 seconds is too much for me. So if uh, I am at a 65% of a regular person, I should have known that 10 seconds was too much for me. And I actually started 20 seconds back. Anyways, I'm a super achiever. I always have been, always will be. And I thought, oh, well, if I'm doing three squats, that's nothing. So I'm going to do three arms and and I made I went into Canva and make myself uh, a notebook and this is the page that I came up with but there's other things uh, like you can buy them they're like exercise log and stuff like that I decided to do my own because I thought that I would change it as I grew I would change the plan and it's easier for me to say how many reps done uh, writing a lot of stuff down is not my forte so I know I have to do it in a way that I wouldn't fail so for me it's like okay I'm gonna write down let's say three abs three squats or this and that way I could write it down just the how many sets I did and how I am feeling I also decided to track certain things for me like shortness of breath that are indication of I'm overdoing the issue I'm having as of late is at the beginning my exercise intolerance was immediate so I would know right away my body has changed throughout CFS in the way that I feel amazing while exercising now um, so I have to be careful because I am I'm amazing I feel amazing I get more energy that wasn't the case all along it just started happening so I kind of keep going and then I crash so I've been on and off since January due to exercise attempts this week I went from the laying bike to sitting up I felt so good and I went for an hour big mistake so I'm trying to I'm trying to be very disciplined 
and trying to stick to it but every time I graduate up like okay I feel good I'm not crashing I'm doing good every time I go up a little bit that's where I overdo it every time because I feel like oh I'm laying down I can do 45 minutes laying down so I'm gonna do 45 minutes sitting up and it just doesn't equate so I'm having trouble analyzing effort and saying okay I want to go up by 5% I want to go by 10% I don't know what that is so if you're laying down and you sit up what's the 5% of that right so I'm really struggling with that but I am gonna keep at it so this week I keep I, I am so determined and I have so much motivation like I get crap done like I have always it's just a, a gift that I was born motivated so when I put my mind into something I achieve it but for some reason with the exercise and actually food or losing the weight it has become a challenge and I am thinking very deeply like why am I failing in what he said that I am not doing right I really haven't come up too much with an answer when I do I'll share it but I think is the lack of planning in the fruit in the food front and lack of an overachievement in the exercise front I need to focus more on a small step and a small gains and it's about repetition it's about consistency and because I keep crashing then the consistency goes out the window so I need to focus on okay all you're gonna do today is just sit in the bike even if you don't pedal or do anything just lay down in the you know put your legs and be at it and then tomorrow the same so I need to focus forget about the exercise altogether forget about achieving anything I should focus on the first step that it is creating the habit and it is creating the consistency. I have rehab all throughout CFS, even in my worst days, uh, because I have discovered early on that I do not progress unless I do that. If I just rest and kind of wait and do nothing, I just get stuck in that level and nothing ever happens. I was, I think I was in the book is that I read or or somewhere I, I in a video where somebody said, oh, I didn't move for a year and then I got better. That is not my case. I have tried. So if I just, you know, sit and do nothing, I don't get better. I have to actually increase my and rehab slowly. And then, you know, when I'm doing it, I say, okay, buddy, this is not a dangerous thing. You're fine. You're safe. And try to psych myself into accepting the exercise. And I also told you before that I have found out that when I do switch, is my body sees as a completely new thing. So if I am sitting in the bike and I can do an hour, that doesn't mean I can do an hour walking. You think you could, but no, because my body see every type of effort as a different thing and I have to start slowly. That's something I have learned the hard way um, throughout the years. So mm, the other thing is the weights are more than what I expected. I started back in the day doing wall push up one or two. And then I did 45 degree in the counter and I would do like one or two. And what I am discovering is that even though I think it's little, always end up being more than what I expected. So the plan is for me, again, I have felt like four times it's already a March, right? And I already have felt like, I don't know how many times trying to start and then I crash, then I start then I crash because I always overdo it again. So I'm going to go back to basics. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to keep, um, instead of laying down now, maybe I'll do one day laying down and then another day, five minutes on, five minutes off, five minutes on, five minutes off. And just, it's about showing up and it's about doing something. Doesn't I don't have to feel like I did anything. It's about creating the habit and creating the time. So that is the goal for the coming weeks. I told you going back to basics and the rehab part of things is that I will cover uh, the meals, the diet. We have covered that um, enough, but there are other things that 
we have to have in place to be able to create um, a positive progress. I am so excited about a way that I have found for measuring, am I giving my body uh, what it needs to heal versus am I taking away from the body to heal? So I'm very excited to share in that with you. I came up with my own point system and it's simple and it's working so great and it kind of keeps me in check and I make sure that I'm doing the right things to recover. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. It really helps. And if you do like all my videos, that's a way to support me and a way to keep us moving forward and rest well.